Hey everybody, it's B Diz, the rock star of Heart of Super Obvious. In this video, we're talking about how Corey Cunningham's role in the movie was and how Allison could have her own movie after the events of Halloween ends. Let's go. Starting off, I know that a lot of viewers and fans are very upset that this new character Corey Cunningham had so much or pretty much all the screen time of the movie, and someone as iconic as Michael Myers was barely in the movie just to die at the end which feels like his whole legacy is tainted and his ultimate death doesn't feel nowhere as impactful as it should. After watching the movie two times when it first came out and waiting about two weeks to watch it a third time, overall I still really like the movie. I liked how the movie is really focused around this new character, Corey, seeing him from losing his cool for a little, leading to killing a kid he was babysitting, him getting bullied by people who knew what he did, even if it wasn't on purpose, meeting Laurie Strode, who was our OG of the whole franchise, him being introduced to Allison, him growing into a relationship with Allison, him running into Michael and not being killed, but somehow has a connection to Michael, and he starts killing a bunch of people, like a lot more than Michael Myers does. And these are just some of his character highlights in the movie. And something else that I give credit for is the actor. That he is a newbie in the franchise and will be taking up lots of screen time from Michael and Laurie. And no matter how his story grows, fans will hate him or this movie because Michael and Laurie aren't in it the whole time. I know in this timeline, this is Michael's last movie because he super dies. But if you look at the story, him being in the sewers for several years after Halloween Kills and him trying to recover from his injuries and him looking weak like we've never seen before, especially when Corey can just wrestle him down to the ground and take his mask. This is a dynamic we really haven't seen before with Michael and I think it's interesting. I think part of the problem that fans have is they think their slasher favorite that seems to be kind of beyond human like Michael, Freddy, or Jason is that they shouldn't have no lengths of time where they could appear to be vulnerable to any normal person. I feel that the story explains as rare occasions where our favorite slashers aren't as powerful, it builds great storytelling, but that's just my opinion. Something I noticed was, it seems like some of Michael's powers may have been transferred to Corey, because after Corey getting shot twice and still alive, and after stabbing himself in the neck with a knife, he seemed like he was dead but actually just woke up like he had one of those rest period naps that Michael would have when taking a lot of damage. But just for the record, as far as the end of this movie, I think Corey is definitely dead. I do think it's kind of a bummer that the movie really built him up just to die. Michael who could have killed him several times earlier in the movie, but then killing Corey once he got his strength back was pretty impactful. Moving on to Corey and Allison's relationship in the movie, I really liked it. Allison has had her boyfriend, friends and both her parents killed by Michael Myers. Emotionally, that seems like something impossible to deal with or recover from. But when she met Corey, she seemed to be very excited about building a relationship with him. She was happy about having someone in her life that she can care for. The relationship with her and Lori is going okay. They live together and trying to keep the things they went through with Michael Myers behind them and trying to move forward with their lives. But when Lori starts telling Corey not to be with Allison because of Corey killing Jeremy that he was babysitting, Allison starts to build resentment towards Lori. So I know that Ends was supposed to be the last movie in the timeline, but I think something that would be interesting is if Allison had a Halloween movie where we see how she is trying to go on to her life after Ends. Throughout the trilogy, I feel like she has gotten stronger and stronger as a person. It's been clearly stated how Jamie Lee isn't playing Lori anymore, so a movie focusing on Allison would be the way to go, especially a person who has gone through so much. Even after seeing the movie a few times and noticing different things, I still really like this movie. Like I said earlier, of course Michael barely in the movie and him being killed off, I feel the way it was executed wasn't the best and fortunately, that's a big part of what a lot of viewers have a problem with the movie overall. But yeah, that's the video. Let me know in the comments how you felt about Corey, Allison, and their story together. And would you like to see a movie where Allison is the main focus? Also, did you like Halloween Ends any more after re-watching it? Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel for more content, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Totally for sure.